Well, the purpose of this video is to show how to put additives into the coolant system on a vehicle that has a closed coolant system with no radiator cap. Uh, this is a Mercury Monterey 2004. It has the, uh, the pressure tank and it has a hose coming off the bottom. I'm going to try to put stop leak. It doesn't matter what the additive is. I'm going to try to put stop leak into this one. I know this video is about how to get it in, but I do want to talk a little bit about uh, what the bars leak. I had a 1998 Silverado 454 that two years ago started using antifreeze, so it had 100 or 210,000 miles on it. It was a very small leak, and using a pressure tester, I found out that it was in the very front of the intake manifold. While listening to uh, the funny guys on Car Talk. They said that if you got a vehicle over 200,000, you can't afford to fix something, just put bars leak in. So I added bars leak copper uh, for blocks, and that was nine months ago. The vehicle had uh, 219,000 miles on it. So I've been putting up with this small leak and constantly adding antifreeze for about two years. I only used a third of a bottle instead of the full one bottle they recommend. So that was nine months ago. There's no leaks. The leaks have stopped and I've had no other problems with the engine or the heater core being plugged. So now we're looking at a 2004 Mercury Monterey. It is a heater core that's only two years old. Had 216,000 miles and it cost $433 to change it. Now there's 255,000 miles on the engine. Everything's running fine. I uh, hate to junk the vehicle just because of uh, the heater core's cost is uh, more than the value of the vehicle because it's not that rusted out or anything. So I'm going to try bars leak uh, for the aluminum, liquid aluminum, which is for heater cores, number uh, 1198 aluminum. So the emphasis on this video is how to get something into the system, not what I'm putting in. And uh, I'll comment later on how long the bars leak lasted or if it actually plugs the leak in the heater core. Um, that is, if I keep the vehicle, I don't plan to keep it too much longer at 255,000 miles. But after I get, my plans are to remove that little hose down there, 3 8 hose, I guess I should have put a stronger light in here, um, and then put a funnel on it, and then open up the either the pickock on the radiator this van does not have that so I'm gonna have to just uh, take the lower heater hose hose off just a little bit and let some uh, antifreeze drain out which will suck the fluid in and you'll see that in uh, this hose setup and the funnel setup in the next video or next section okay now I avoided a lot of mess um, by letting my system lose enough antifreeze, just enough that the uh, overflow reservoir, the pressure tank reservoir, was empty. It just emptied out yesterday. So I didn't, I do have a big container underneath to catch it, uh, but not much came out. So what you want to do is you want to get a funnel that's going to be about the same size as the opening of the tube. By the time I put the hose clamp on, it should be fairly watertight. And I'll be able to put the uh, um, bars leak into the funnel and then open up the uh, pickock or in my case I have to remove the lower radiator hose just a little bit to uh, let some fluid out and then let the uh, bars leak in. Okay funnels hooked up uh, hose clamp on it to make it fairly watertight I'm not planning to put a bunch of um, bars leak in in fact <clears throat> because I put such a small amount in and it fixed the uh, Silverado problem I'm only going to put a third of a bottle I'm of the philosophy uh, if some's good, more is better if it ain't worse. Well, um, I think anything that can plug up your radiator is going to be worse. So I'm just going to try to put in just about one third of a bottle and see if that solves the leak. If it doesn't, then I'll have to put in some more later. Um, car is jacked up and supported by a, uh, um, a stand so that I can pull the lower, lower radiator hose off and see if it goes in. So I'm going to be pouring about a third of a bottle into this funnel and it, it won't go all the way into the engine until I kind of flush it down with some antifreeze that I have, 50-50 mix ready to put in after I put the uh, um, bars leak in.
Okay, so I'm at the point now where I put about a pint of antifreeze in the funnel. Uh, went down, opened the lower radiator hose, or pulled it off just enough to probably let out about another pint. So now when I um, hook up the uh, hose back to the uh, lower connection on the reservoir, um, I shouldn't get a shouldn't get a spill out of this hose uh, that would include some bars leak. Uh, it should have been flushed down all the way into the system. Okay, the hose is back on. Um, no bars leak or antifreeze came out as I put it on. So now I'm going to fill up the reservoir uh, to the hot position um, and then uh, drain a little bit more out of the low radiator hose just to make sure it's got all the bars leak into the actual uh, coolant system. Okay, this completes the uh, video and two corrections from the other day. First of all, there's 255,000 miles on the car. Uh, second of all, instead of putting in one third, I ended up putting in about one half of the bars leak. Yesterday, I followed all the other instructions other than the half bottle, ran it for 20 minutes, shut it down. And then yesterday we went on a trip, uh, 210 miles round trip. And this is what the results are. I had filled the tank right to the bottom of the, this is the minimum position, um, four hours of driving, and we're at the same spot and there's no drips underneath the car. So the bars leak, aluminum did work for this heater core, and it was pretty easy to get in, and the nice part is there is no bars leak in my reservoir. It's all, it all got into the system. Okay, sorry that I did this as a video, probably could have done as a bunch of cell shots, but this gives me an opportunity to put some audio in it, and uh, it, I didn't um, do you the disfavor of putting in some stupid music in the background, instead I gave an explanation of what I did. So, hope you enjoy this, and like this if you found this useful.